Hello everybody and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Last video we finished up the Lakebed Temple and uh, now that we've collected all the pieces of the few shadows and the kids are safe, uh, we're gonna go through and see what happens next because we don't really know what we're supposed to do next honestly so I'm a little curious myself. Go ahead and take us outside Midna and uh, we're gonna see what awaits us. Of course, we're going to go back and talk to the Light Spirit, as we often do when we finish a temple. Except that's not the Light Spirit. That's the Light Spirit, and Lanayru looked particularly badass in this scene, by the way. What? I just worked so hard to fix the entire world of Twilight, and then you go and you ruin it. Oh, and I'm a wolf again. Ah. Uh. Zant. Oh, so that's Zant. I guess that makes sense. And I just worked so- ah, I just got all those. Did you honestly mean to take an ancient and withered power like this and turn it against me? Hmm. Apparently she did. You are a foolish traitor, Midna. Why do you defy your king? My king? You, who do nothing but abuse the magic of our tribe? You must be joking. How dare you? Are you implying that my power is our old magic? Now that is a joke. Oh man, he's tossing her around. This power is granted to me by my god. It is the power of the King of Twilight, and you will respect it. So hard to read when you're post-commentating. Man, this guy is a little untouchable. Aww. Minda does care. And that certainly doesn't look good. Hope Link's gonna be okay. My Minda, did you forget that Beast is one of the Light Dwellers who oppressed our people? No matter how much you may desire otherwise, you will never be more than a shadow in their world. You cannot consort with their kind. But if we make their world ours, Midna, light and darkness will meet at last. Our tribe will take back their realm and sweet darkness will blot out this harsh light. And that, Midna, is why this next part's so creepy. Oh, send shivers down my spine. Not just for me, but for all of our people. Lend me your power. So be it. I will return you to the light world, you covet. That sounds painful, and looks painful. The neighbor did save us, though. We were able to escape Zant this time, anyways. The Light Spirit will warp you out of Lake Hylia and to safety, kind of, sort of. But that was a whole lot of plot twists going on. I don't know what he put into our forehead. We're permanently a wolf, it looks like, again. 
He has the few shadows, and Midna does not look well at all. Link, hero chosen by the goddesses. Yeah, I know. I know this whole spiel. Go to the princess locked away in the castle. And she will tell us how to unlock our Shadow Beast self because we are stuck this way. And may I just say, this is my favorite track in the entire game. Just gonna let that play for a second. That song is called Midna's Lament, and it only plays at this point in the game where Midna is obviously in great peril. Unfortunately, if you go near enemies, uh, the music will stop. I love this whole atmosphere for this whole bit. We need to go back to, of course, Hyrule. Um, Castle Town and try to go talk to Princess Zelda, but this atmosphere is just amazing, you know. Uh, Minna's obviously in trouble, and Link's the one who's going to save her this time. You know, she's completely changed since we first met her. You know, now she's completely helpless and friendly and, you know, concerned for Link, and she seems to have some sort of greater cause that we're not really too sure about, but. We seriously need to get her some help. Obviously that light is not good for her. She is a being of twilight after all. So... You are allowed to go into Castletown despite the fact you are a wolf. Um, you, you might not think it's possible because people are going to be scared of you. But regardless of them being afraid, you can still uh, walk through here, and if you would like, you can also uh, go ahead and you can talk to the animals if you need some help. But we don't really uh, need help, I know where to go. It's a little obscure though, um, Telma had mentioned that there is an underground passage to Hyrule Castle when we um, brought Prince Rallus to Kakariko. So, I don't assume we can just waltz in through the front door, can we? Beast, get out! Hmm, I didn't think so. Well, I gotta find another way in. That's the only way to get to Castletown. You there, or to the sewers rather, we're in Castletown. What am I talking about? You're Link, correct? Hey, I've seen you around somewhere. Says Telma's cat. Hmm, yes, I thought so. I could just tell, you know. I'm Louise. Do you remember meeting me in the shop before? Though I don't think we were properly introduced. That's so corny. In any case, I must tell you, I'm a bit puzzled as to why you look like that. Really, dear, you can't blame the humans for tossing you out the way you look. Prejudiced. Oh, another patient. You certainly are a curious sort. Please. Prin Princess Zelda. Aw, oh, Perminda. This way. Here, get in through the window. The attic is connected to the castle's waterway. It's an old waterway, though, so it could be a rough trip. Well, we have to try it. Well, I suppose all that's left to do is make sure that the humans don't notice you. Yeah, her name is Telma, and, uh, or Thelma. Um, or, yeah, it's Telma and Louise, basically, which is like a movie reference, which is kind of corny, but... Anywho, go ahead and push that block, and then go on through here. And you'll get to the top of Telma's bar, and of course we have to do some tightrope walking. How nobody would notice this... I honestly have absolutely no clue. Um, but what you can do is, if you have the little yellow arrow above somebody, you can go above them and listen to what they say, which is which is kind of interesting. The elder told me to escort Talma, but the city air does not suit my skin. So I mean that that's totally optional. You don't you don't have to uh, listen to all this stuff, but it's just something extra. Oh God, I can't do her accent. How's it come to this, huh? Monsters walking in the streets of town. What in the world are the soldiers of Hyrule doing? Gorons are so much more reliable than they are. It's not even funny. I forgot how crappy of a southern accent I gave her. 
Anyways, so what you need to do here is uh, sneak around the pots. If you fall or if you knock a pot off of the ledge, then the humans will notice you and throw you out. Um, these people here, you can also listen to what they say. They all come into play later. I think. Big table of these guys here. I heard that an acquaintance of Talmus defeated the beast that had been attacking tourists on the bridge. His name was Link. It sounds as though he brought Talma and her young ward to Kakariko Village. And here I was, thinking Hyrule was empty of men of valor. Oh no, I don't believe he's from Hyrule proper at all. What? Oh, my understanding is that he's from the small neighboring province of Rodona. I thought the whole place was Hyrule and then there was just certain provinces, but apparently not. This may sound horribly elitist, but anybody who does not know the city simply do not know fear. Oh, are you kidding me? Do, do you have any idea who I am? I'm Link. I know plenty about fear. Thank you very much. Alright. So we made it through that section, and for some weird reason it connects to this house. This certainly doesn't look like a waterway to me. Um, you can see there's this little floating lantern. This is actually a side quest that I haven't introduced yet. However, it's going to be uh, mandatory at this point to go ahead and kind of start this up. So you can only do this as a wolf. What you need to do is use your senses, and you'll see it's a little ghost. So go ahead and attack it a few times. Um, they can hurt you, and they are a little dangerous, but what you can do uh, is finish them off, and you will collect what is called a Pose Soul. So this is, again, another collectible, this is another side quest, and we have seen these lanterns floating around the world before, however, um, you can only do this as a wolf, so... Defeat the ghost and then talk to this guy. Can I call you Doggy? I'm Giovanni. I became consumed by greed long ago and sold my soul to a dark creature that did this to me. Oh, serves you <laughs> serves you right. I can't move. I can't go see my girlfriend. My pat cat Gangle is frozen on my head. I don't think I could be more miserable. First thing he thinks about is his girlfriend. Really? Really? I have to ask you a favor, doggy. Can you find and defeat the 20 ghosts that lurk in the dark for me? I think if you can free the pieces of my soul from the ghosts that hold them, I'll be free. It's raining out now, so I don't think you can go outside. I'll open the waterway for you. Man, there must be a lot of rain, because this guy's house is flooded something fierce. Once the rain stops, you can come back in here by digging around that front wall where the cats gather. Understand, doggy? I've pointed this out um, when we came to Castletown the first time. There's a bunch of cats outside this guy's house, and this is Giovanni. So you're going to defeat the uh, the pose for him. But we'll get into that later. Obviously, it's flooded, so we can't uh, leave. We don't have any other choice but to pretty much continue on with the story at this point. We pretty much have to go to the waterway, and uh, we have to go, and we have to get help for Midna, obviously, because she is in mortal danger. So we're going to uh, pretty much go back to where we started the game. You know, we started in the waterway uh, by going and finding Princess Zelda when we were, you know, turned into a wolf. And we're going to do it all over again. So I decided to stop the video here because I definitely needed a break at this point. I've been recording for a long time. So next video we're going to go ahead we're going to start in the sewers. And I very much hope that we're going to be able to get some help from Midna. So thank you so very much for watching and I will see you guys next time.